Regent House nil, Bangor Grammar 18. Bangor 18, Campbell 14.
Well, it's been a long, grueling season for players and staff of Bangor Grammar School, but uh, it comes to an end here at Perry Park today in the final of the first 15 schools bowl. May have been a disappointing schools cup campaign with a third round exit to Grosvenor Grammar School, but uh, with the schools bowl a chance for redemption for, for the players. And for 11 of the 15 starters, it's their final chance to wear the Bangor Grammar School jersey. They're all ready to go. Can they win today? Time will tell. It's Bangor Grammar School versus Regent House. Before we do though, let's take a look at the runners and riders for today's match. The front row is made up of Ben McCrossan in his first year playing with the first 15, Thomas Boyd at hooker and Martin Weathers. The second row, Joe McLarnan and Paddy Eves both playing in their final match for the first 15. Another two players making their final appearance for the school, Chris Goldthorpe and Ethan Murray playing as flankers today with Gareth Wells filling in for the unwell Matthew Agnew at number 8. Scrum half is Cameron Webb and Lewis Brett. Captain Charlie Blair is joined in the centre by Zach Kerr, who is the kicker. And on the wing, Chris Connolly and Callum Fern. Aaron Sexton, who plays fullback. Of course, Aaron, a representative of the Ireland Schools team. Substitutes today are Johnny Gamble, Ben Calvin, Thomas Stallard, Bryn Crawford, Sam Gordon, Adam Pritchard, Reese Larmer and Daniel Young. of this match, there is a minute's silence in memory of Josh Martin of Bangor Grammar School who passed away earlier this week.
Let's take a little recap of uh, the events of today's match. A little slow getting going, but Zach Kerr had opened the scoring with a penalty after about 12 minutes. He added five points with a try of his own, and Regent got their only points of the match soon later with a penalty. Charlie Blair then added two tries, the second of which uh, a breakaway from his own half, and Zach Kerr getting his second try of the match soon later. Aaron Sexton added another five points to the tally, and Chris Connolly rounded off the scoring with another wonderful breakaway try. Here is a breakdown of all today's scores. Congratulate both teams for making a fantastic game today. Um, Fanger won very well at the end, but it was a very kingly uh, contested contest. Uh, I'd like to congratulate the referee and the touch judge for making it a very entertaining match to watch. And I'd like to thank Methody for the use of their grounds today, which has been absolutely fantastic. And I'd also like to thank the supporters for making it an absolutely fantastic occasion for both teams. So on behalf of the branch, I'd like to pass over now the Bull Final Cup to the Captain of Anger. Uh, Charlie, so you've captained the team this season and uh, you've you've captained them to uh, 
uh, the first trophy in, in many years of, of any kind. So, uh, what what does what different challenges does captaining the team bring that maybe not captaining not bring? Um, you kind of have to you know like, try to control your players. Like these two here, they're a couple of hotheads really. You know, they got a bit of talent behind them, but you know you gotta you gotta calm them down. You know. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Obviously, uh, Banger Grammar Rugby runs deep in your family. So, uh, have have they won anything? Uh, no, I don't think they have. <laughs> uh, no, um, I, didn't, I didn't think any of them did. No. And uh, talk us through the emotions there of uh, lifting up the trophy. Yeah, no, it was great to win a trophy, but I think all the lads kind of you know, <laughs> kind of realised that we shouldn't really be this low in the competition. Banger Grammar, as a school, yeah. shouldn't really be here, and we would <coughs> we have the coaching and the players now to really push on. You know, like the medallions in the semi-finals of the actual shield and stuff like that. And hopefully next year we'll be really challenging for the Stools Cup. It was very disappointing in the Grosvenor match, and we haven't really. Mm got over that but it was yeah it's nice to win at the end of the season and yeah. Yeah, your last game is BGS but I think for BGS in the future it should definitely be still top yeah. not bowls we're looking at. No yeah for you today there were two tries. Uh, were you surprised as surprised as I was? No <laughs> 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 over the the the, the try line a couple of times this season Simon so and I wasn't too shocked. <laughs> Another fine performance, uh, but your last performance for the school? Yeah, it's a sad day. Mixed emotions, so it is. Yeah. Um, but it's just good for the school, so it is. So how does this compare with the medallion bowl uh, you won two or th- three years ago? This is a much better, so it is, because uh, it's obviously our last game yeah. for the school, so it feels a lot better. And <laughs> is this then going to be what you remember, your time at Bangor? Is this sort of the, the abiding memory going forward? Yeah, one of a few good memories, so yeah. yeah. Uh, another great performance today. A big win over Regent. Does the fact that it's a North Down Derby make it all the more exciting? Oh yeah, getting beaten Regent. The uh, Derby game's always such a good, good feeling, especially at the end of the end of a season and end of our time here. Just great to get a good win over them yeah. and finish strong. Yeah. yeah. The scoreline flattered us a little bit. They played well. Ultimately, no try though. Yeah, we were just defensively so strong, and you know, put them back every time, and just great carrying from all forwards and backs today just showed that we were really dominant by the end. I think the scoreline reflects that. Yeah, a couple of key turnovers and uh, very dangerous territory there really sort of made the win, didn't it? Yeah, it really so saved that. us, and but we just showed that we, you know, we would be clinical and we'd be accurate in our defence when we were defending. Yeah. But Aaron, you've uh, you've really slotted into this team well this year, and uh, uh, a lot of tries. So. Uh, What's it like playing with guys who've already been here for a few seasons? Oh, it's great because everyone's learned to accept you, so it's, it's great. Like, I was properly accepted and they all took me along on the team. And, you know, these boys have experience, which I didn't. So. Fantastic try from you today. Uh, you, uh, you did well there. Yeah, well, I didn't do much. The boys just kept working for me. They, they were the ones who got it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they set me up. I had a nice walk in the corner. It was all hard work paid off. It's right. trust the system. Now, you boys will be here next season. Uh, do you think that you can set up uh, maybe maybe a longer run in the Schools Cup next year as a result of it? Yeah, definitely. I think so, because the experience we've gained from this year and the older year group and the med- medallions coming through, you know, semi-final of the proper medallion shield and uh, what those upper six have formed for us now, it's... We're back to rugby school, so I definitely think we could go further next year. Both of your dads actually played in the last Schools Cup winning team for Bangor 30 years ago next year. 30 years, uh, it's too long in my book. Yeah, yeah, I think we all agree. Now, uh, today you got two tries of your own, uh, a few conversions as well on the penalty. Yeah. Uh, bagging the points is really one of your strongest uh, strongest aspects, isn't it? Oh, look, I've been out for, I was out for 10 months there. Yeah. I've only played seven games a season, so... Okay, and uh, looking back on the Schools Cup, you know, Groven are a bit of a disappointment. Yeah. Uh, we should have won. I mean, we scored the points, didn't we? Well, we definitely should have won. I think it was a bit, a bit of a of discipline issue that cost yeah. us that yeah. much. I uh, I never asked you, I don't think at the time, about that try that was disallowed. It was perfectly legal, wasn't it? Um, well, as far as I could see, it was perfectly legal. <laughs> I think I think the video uh, backs that up. Next season then, uh, hopefully uh, maybe improve on the Schools Cup and maybe mount a longer run. Oh, definitely. That is ideal. Obviously, um, last year we got to the quarterfinals, yeah. and uh, we put in a pretty, a pretty poor performance against Dalriad. So obviously, would be uh, we wanted to rectify that. And, uh, just a cheeky question then: With uh, might you be our captain next year? Oh well, if Jason chooses me, I'll be, I'll be glad to take the honour.
sleight of hand and twist of fate On a bed of nails she makes me wait And I'll wait without you With or without you Give it all, but I want more And I'm waiting for you With or without you With or without you I can't Got me away. 